Welcome guys, it's another episode of The Neutral Corner, proudly sponsored by Treasure Boxing Club. It's Danny Glover with Lex and today we've got our special guest, Courtney Bennett and joined also with our first returning guest, Donnell Smith. Welcome guys, it's another episode of The Neutral Corner. How you doing, man? I'm all good yourself. Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. Mm. And, um, did you guys manage to watch any of the boxing last night? Uh, watched the Cody fight last night. Um, didn't manage to stay up and watch the Benavidez one, so yeah, yeah, yeah. likewise. So, yeah. I'm due to watch the Benavidez one when I go back this afternoon, so <laughs> this evening, sorry. Okay, yeah. okay. So, um, yeah, first things first, I'm gonna introduce yourself, let everyone know, uh, where you're from, your background. Um, yeah, yeah my name is Courtney Bennett. I'm 27 years old. I'm from South East London, Deptford. Um, my background, my dad's from Barbados, and my mom, she's half English, half Jamaican. Okay, okay. And what about you, Donnell? I didn't, I don't think I asked you last time. Uh, my family's from Jamaica originally. I'm okay. from East London. Okay, East London. Yeah, East London. Yeah. Let's get this up. So, tag teams, we'll get triple threat. <laughs> no, no, no. Handicaps there. We've yeah, got three yeah. Jamaicans there. Actually, Barbados as well. Yeah, yeah. Caribbeans. So, what part of um, South East London was you? Did you go Deptford. up in again? Uh, Deptford, Deptford, yeah. Deptford, yeah. Deptford, yeah. So, how was it growing up around there? What was it like? I it was all right for me, you know. Um, certain people say it's a rough area. It is a rough area, but I was I was alright around there all the time. Like, never had any trouble or anything. So, yeah, yeah. I've been good around there. Yeah, so what did you used to go like wave lengths and stuff like that? Oh, uh, yeah, I used to, yeah. I, as a kid, I used to go wave lengths. Yeah, I went to Deptford in school. So, yeah, like live in the heart of Deptford by like the mm. KFC and stuff. So, and it was local, mm. local. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Near Tommy's Kitchen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? My, my nan and my granddad used to own, before there was Tommy's Kitchen, there used to be a pub there. Oh, is it? My nan and my granddad used to own that store. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what was the name of it? Uh, yeah. Oh, asking the wrong part. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't have a clue. Yeah, before your time. Yeah, man. Before my time. Yeah. So, what about uh, infant and primary school? What ones did you go to? Oh, uh, I went to a Charlotte Turner School. It was um, Deptford, but that like, Deptford slash Greenwich side. So, yeah. but yeah, yeah. The, um, used to be called um, Hilly Fields before I went there, and then went um, no Hughes Field. Sorry, and then changed to Charlotte Turner while I was there. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what kind of student was you? Was you? Uh, I was a, I was a good student, you know. Yeah. Like, I wasn't bad. That like, I never asked any of my teachers. I never caused no trouble, or whatever, in class or whatever. So yeah, I just yeah. used to do what I used to do. I wasn't the smartest of kids, but I wasn't stupid. But yeah, okay. I, I, I was alright. Yeah. So um, so how was your journey? Did you get into boxing exactly? Oh, do you know what? Um, it was mad. So that me before I boxed, I used to like little. Kid from Deptford used to hang out with my friends, smoke weed and whatever. Mm. Okay. And then um, one of my friends got arrested for carrying that knife. Mm. And before that, because they didn't they didn't send him to jail, one I think, but a part of his probation, he had to get sent to a boxing gym. What is it? Called Double Jab, and they oh, were doing a campaign. Course. Yeah, they mm. were doing a campaign of Jab Don't Stab. So oh. he got sent there, a part of that. And one day he was at my house. He was like, "Oh yeah, I've got to go there." He had to be there like twice a week. Mm. And he's like, oh, I'll beg you for it. And I said, no, 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 fuck that. I ain't going, I ain't going to no boxing gym. So forget about all of that. And then um, he's like, no, please, man. But there was a few of us. There was about 10 of me, me and my brothers, about mm. 10 of us. We all just went there. And then before, after the first session, I said, fuck, I'm coming back to this. Man. I said, I ain't doing this. Um, what, made, what, made, what made you do, was it hard? Was it, how tough was it? Or? Do you know, it wasn't even tough, mm. but like, don't get me wrong, like, I listen to people that like, teachers in school and whatever, mm. but I just didn't like, like, oh yeah, you got to do this this way, do that mm. that way. And I was, it wasn't really my kind of, do you know what I mean? So oh, I was like, okay. no, I don't want to go back there. The discipline factor. Yeah, man. Fact so it was right. like, yes, yeah, I didn't want to do it. And then that was on a Monday. Then a Wednesday, he was like, I'll come. He's like, i got to go again. Do you want to follow me? I was like, nah, bro, I'm not going back again, man. Mm. He's like, nah, please, man. Last time, if you don't like it, then I won't ask you to come again. Mm. Went there, we done a bit of sparring, like, technical, mucking around. 
was like, you know, I don't mind punching someone in the face. Mm. So <laughs> it was actually all right still, and I just went back there, and then I've never looked back since, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. So how, so from amateur, so from there, explain from there to your first amateur about how it all, the lead up and stuff. Well, I start, I went there in my, um, I went there in about March, you know, just before my 70th birthday. Mm-hmm. And then um, I went there and then I had my first fight in that November of mm-hmm. that same year. Mm-hmm. So I went there, the coach was like, oh yeah, yeah. Current doing things. And then he was like to me, oh yeah, you got to do this, you got to do that. And then one week, it went, I went home on a Friday. And one weekend, I was in my garden the whole weekend, trying, trying. Went back there on a the Monday, and he was like, fucking hell, that. it's like you like, had that like, three months training, <laughs> training in the space of a weekend. Yeah. And uh, don't get me wrong, like, my mum and my dad, they always like, support me. Anything I want to do, my mum mm. and dad support me to the, like, to the max, especially my mum. Mm-hmm. But you know that like, hearing someone else say, oh, that you can be this, you can mm-hmm. be that, yeah. kind of like boosted man's confidence. I was yeah. like, fucking hell, that. Like, Is that because like, you feel like they have to say that, but he didn't have to? Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. When, do you know that? Like, yeah, my mum, especially my mum, my mum, mm-hmm. like, she's a big softy and it's mm-hmm. like, she loves me. She's like, she lo- like, whatever I want to do, I could say to my mum, my mum, I want to be a fucking whatever yeah, okay, I want to okay, be. Okay, my okay, mum yeah, said, yeah, yeah, you can do whatever yeah, you want to yeah, do. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, so like hearing it from someone else. Yeah, I was like, oh, you know what? That, yeah, yeah. Then, then I just fucking carried on from there and then had my first fight in November of 2013. Mm. Yeah. So, November. so when you started amateur. Double Jab, was that the Forest Hill one or the New Cross New one? Cross, New Cross. New Cross, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I remember... Um, they used to be in Forest Hill before, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but I down. never went to that, yeah. Oh, okay, because I remember when uh, I went down there, I came with Craig and I remember you sparred Julius Francis' son. I don't know if you know. Do, his do, you, name. do you remember that? No, I don't. I forgot know. his son's name, but yeah, I remember you, uh, you got you got the better of him still. And then um, I was like, "Oh, who's that guy?" And it's so a Craig, and he's like, "Oh, yeah, he's Courtney. He's good, good up and coming, like amateur and stuff." And I was like, "Okay, mm. yeah." So that's when I first um, knew who he was. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah. That uh, thing, and there was like Maisie was there. And then there was like pictures of that like mad Frankie Fraser on the wall. I don't know if you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah from here, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, man. So then, so from you, you had your yeah. So as Lex said, how was it? You know, leading up to your first bout, how was that? Yep. Do you know what? Like I know, like me, like from Deptford, like you, know, like me. I'm not scared of no one. I'm not. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Just that like, kind of that mm. kind of. As people say, you would, people say roadman mentality, but I'm mm. not a roadman. I've never been a roadman, but mm. just being around certain people, I've just kind of, you know, I'm not okay. scared of no one, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So, but coming back to my first, my first fight, bro, I was shitting bricks, bro. Like, <laughs> no, no, honestly, like, no, no word of a lie. Like, I was nervous as hell, bro. Like, mm-hmm. because, oh yeah, come in the corner and um, let me come in the changing room. And that like, I said, nah, nah, I've got, I had to sit outside into about, half an hour before my fight, and before I was gonna go warm up, put my wraps mm. on, I had to go set with all my peoples and that try and relax. Mm. So I was nervous, like, I tried to sit out there and I was like, no, nah, too nervous. I went and sat out with all my peoples mm. and that. But yeah, I was nervous. Like once I got in the ring, it all went. You get me? But leading up to it, like, I was overthinking shit and didn't want to lose in front of my mom, mm. didn't want to lose in front of this person, yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? I got all the brothers there and mm. all that shit. I was like, nah. But other than that, it was there. Uh, it was good, like the training that like, leading up to it was good in that. Yeah. So who was your coach, uh, Dan? Um, G- um, his name's Jim. Um, he was my first. Do you know what? When I first went to that club, yeah, uh, Terry Chapandama, he was um the first person that took me on pads. That yeah, it yeah. was me and a group of my brethren. That but it was like ten of us, and that like, Terry was like a new coach there at the time. So they was like, oh yeah, yeah, you deal with these lot kind of thing, and um. Yeah, Terry's that like, first took me on a pad. That like, Terry's like I still do Terry to this day. That like, Terry's like, always had that mad belief in me, and whatever. So my I would say my first coach was Terry, and then you know how certain amateur clubs go on. Like mm. when you start getting a certain level, certain other coaches would want to. Oh yeah, come mm-hmm. let, let me do this with you. Let me do that with you. Yeah. And then but yeah, so my first coach I would say is Terry Chapandama, and then there's a guy called um, Jim there as well. He he was um, a decent coach as well. To be fair, yeah. Okay. So, um, for your amateur career, you end up on the GB squad. That's right, yeah. Do, what national titles? You won some national titles, didn't you? Uh, I won the, I, I won the London, the Londons, I won, um, I can't remember what year that was. You know? ABAs? Yeah, London ABAs, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, got to the, 
finals of the under 10s. Um, I don't think I've done the under 20s. I went straight to the elites, boxing elites, got to the finals of that. I won the London rounds that same year. I got to the finals, um, lost on a split decision. Did I think I lost? No, but mm, it's it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, but I never won an actual national title. Okay. So, what about that, did you go into the Haringey Box Cup? Yeah, I won that. I won that three times. You know. Okay. Um, yeah, I won that three times. I think first time. When did I get the first time? Two thousand and fourteen. So within my first year of boxing, mm. went there, won it, won it again the following year, and then won it again the following year. I was meant to do it again that following year after that, but. I had an injury on my hand and that was as an elite. I wanted to do it as an elite because I won it as a, um, as I say, novice. Mm -hmm. So I won it as a novice taught that three times and um, I wanted to do it as an elite, but my hand was injured and then I didn't do it. do it. Yeah, I didn't do it. Yeah. Okay. So then how did you end up getting selected for the GB, GB squad? squad. Um, what did I... I went to... Is the, the year I got to the final of the ABAs, hmm. um... I got chosen for England, that like England boxing. I done the GB, the GB Tri Nations. It was, but that year my hand was my hand was meh, like my hand was that like, my hand was. I had an ongoing injury. injury with my hand that that like, for about a year and a bit then, and then. Um, so where does the Tri Nations cover? Because I remember my when I was boxing, it was the Four Nations, but maybe they must have took. Them. Yeah, the Tri Nations was um, England, England, Wales, and Scotland. Okay, yeah, we used yeah. to have Ireland in it to make it four nations. Yeah, they yeah. Must have took that one out. Yeah. So then that same year, I think that was 2017 or 18, if I'm if I'm correct. But then, um, yeah, they said to me, oh, they wanted me to do the um, I think they chose the winner to do it, but he couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. The Tri Nations. So they asked me to do it. I done it. I won the Tri Nations. Oh, well done, man. Thanks. And then that same year, they wanted me to do the GB Championships as well. And that was against Scotland, if I'm correct. And then I, I won, I won that as well. Then the next year, no, that was 2018. Sorry, so 2018 I done that, and then they wanted me to do it again 2019, which I done. That was my first um, first fight for GB mm -hmm. 2019 in August, if I'm correct. No, no, I got on in August, and it was in December. Okay. And yeah. then um yeah, I won I won that as well. So yeah. So um since when you was in the G B, who was on your stable at that them times? Any names would recognise? Um Who'd you come? It was Fraser Clark still there. Fraser Clark was still there, yeah. there, yes, right. Solomon Dacos was there at the time mm -hmm. when I first got on there. The McCall like all the people that went to the Olympics just gone. Mm -hmm. oh, Pat McCormack. The, yeah, Pat McCormack, McCormack scared all the fires and all oh, yeah, all of them was on there. But when I first got on I was on podium potential. Mm -hmm. So that means I've got the potential to get onto the podium squad. All of these boys are on the podium, like so Galau, mm. Fraser, Solomon, they was all on the podium. So when I would get on when I would go up to GB, we would do Wednesday to Saturday. Mm. So when I would get on there, them boys was going the next day. So they were going on Thursday. So I'd only see them here and there. Oh, so that yeah. like, everyone was like walking them out how that was going yeah, on yeah, whatever. Cool, yeah. But I didn't really it's only when I started training a bit harder and doing that got on that I got onto the podium team and then was it um, up in Sheffield? Yeah up in Sheffield yeah yeah so yeah. how was the um you know the change from you going South East London to you having to stay in Sheffield sometimes? Do you know what um I've got a daughter in it my daughter mm. she's eight years old so that, I think that was the, that was the hardest mm. part of going up there see my daughter like do you know it wasn't I was having my daughter on the weekends mm. so when I was Going up there, I had to miss time with my daughter, daughter do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I would only see her like once a week, mm. certain time, but then certain time I'll have her throughout the week and whatever. So it wasn't mm. too bad, but I think that was the hardest part. But other than that, it's just go do what you love to do in it. So mm. go up there and do what you're doing. Like all the boys are welcoming. So it wasn't nothing where that like, I thought, oh, I feel like mad awkward here and whatever, yeah. whatever. Do you know what I mean? Just kept myself to myself, really. Spoke to some of the boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any, any, um, Funny or interesting stories whilst being on the GB squad up in Sheffield with the with the lads. <laughs> no, I, no, you know what? Actually, I actually ain't got none, you know, because yeah. more time I just kept Get myself to myself. Yeah, do you know yeah. that when I first got on there, yeah, mm. it, the training's hard, bro. Like, 
like it's not like people think oh like going like fam it's hard so like certain of the boys would do the full day like training and then go out sometimes mm. not not to like party or nothing but yeah, they would just go that, like yeah. to yeah. walk around in the town center he's whatever. Saying, I was going to cook yeah I, I was going back to my I wanted to chill bro I was knackered like I'm like yo like I'm with the first week. I went up there, bro. Like, obviously, getting used to the strength condition. Like, you're mm. training three times in a day, so mm. time. Like, mm. I wasn't used to that before. Do you get me? And mm. I'm like, and even before I got on GB, I would run sometimes, but I wasn't running like, like that. Yeah, yeah, like more time, I would my skill was mm. getting me through bouts and winning. Like, there's certain mm. bouts if I was fit enough, I should have won easy. Mm. But certain bouts, I wasn't winning. Your fitness let you. Yeah, down. yeah. Fitness was kind of letting me down. Do you get? What I'm trying to say. So when I got on there, there's, there's, you can't, you're not hiding from nothing. They're, mm. they're, they're on you. The coaches are on you. Okay. The staffs on you. So it's just like, boy, that like, was fucked one time. Yeah. So yeah. So who's your favorite coach up there? Um. Do you know what? There was a. There was quite a few good coaches up there, you know. Like all of them are good coaches. Like obviously being on the GB team, all of them are good coaches. But ones that I kind of clicked with Richie Woodhull, like oh, and, wait, what, um, what's from BT. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Richie Woodhull was a Football good coach. Champion. Yeah, champion. yeah, 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 yeah. Middleweight, right? Uh, super middle. Super, yeah. Yeah, so Richie Woodhull was a good coach up there, and there's a coach called Paul Bennett. Proper mm. liked him. Good coach as well. Um, so yeah, they, I would say they're my two like two favorites or like. When you go on the pads and that, I wouldn't mind going on the mm. pads with them. Do you know what I mean? But all the coaches on there are top and top as people as well. That like they're good people as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, hey. But yeah, man. So how old are you now? Twenty seven now. Okay, so that means you you would have had. You said you've got a daughter who's eight years old, so you'd have been a young parent. So how was that um, to find out you was going to be a parent as a teenager, bro? Um, it's kind of mad, you know. Um, that like, could my my daughter's mom. She's five years older than me, isn't it? So. Mm. So it was, it was yeah. a bit mad at first. You get me? Like, so mom, you, you mom, like mom, I was still in ladies, college yeah? at the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mom was still in college at the time. So, mm. like, I found out I was like, fuck, fucked college off and I went and got a job, innit? Mm. Like, um, spoke to one of my mates. Like, he was down at the boxing gym. Mm. And I was like, there's no chance you can get me a job. He's like, oh, yeah, but you got to get like your CSCS card because mm. he was doing scaffolding at okay. the time. So I didn't know what that was. I was mm. like, that? So I got that. He got me a job. And then um, got me a job. And I was working with a group of guys. And they, they were like, they was cool. Like one of the guys now was my, one of my, one of my sponsors, isn't it? Oh, right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It's good to keep your links. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely, man. Mm. Good, good people, man. That like, be sure scaffolding is cool. Mm. The proper good scaffolding <laughs> company. Do you get me? But um, yeah, like flipping. Yeah, so then got a job and I was just working. And then, bro, that there's certain times I'm up, like, I've got to be on the scaffolding site for eight o'clock. Mm. So I'm there for eight, work until four. Get back, training starts at six. So I only got a sp- small mm. amount of time to spend with my daughter at the time. Mm. Then go into fucking boxing, doing that, get home about eight. I need to get a bath and eat my dinner in bed, man. Do you mm. get what I mean? So yeah. it was, my days were basically done. Yeah, very regiment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, because I can relate to that because uh, I had my first son a uh, week before my 19th birthday. Mm. And I remember before then, I was kind of loafing around, just mm. being doing stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, yeah, I've got to get a job. And then I'll start working at um, Sports World, which you probably know Sports yeah, yeah, Direct now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, Sports World in Charlton. Mm. So, yeah, man, it's um, it definitely changes you. Yeah, you but you know what? My my mum, yeah, that like, I remember when my daughter was born, like, but I, I've ne- prior to that, I never had no, like, my household never had no babies, babies you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I didn't know what I was doing, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, I said to my mum, I remember there, my mum's like to me, like, oh, like, yeah, I'm going to go now. I'm sitting, looked at my mum, like, what do you mean you're going to, you're going to go where? I don't, what am I, what do I, what do I need to do? Do you get me? I'm still a baby. Yeah, like, yeah. like, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do, but my mum, like, even now, bro, like, when I'm training, when I'm in camp, oh, because like, at the moment, I've got my daughter full time, that like, Monday okay. to Friday, I have my daughter, do you get All me? Right, so, yeah. when I've got my daughter, my mum, that like, in my camp, the week before, like, fight week, my mum's like, listen, go do what you're doing, like, I'll, Look after that like, the yeah. baby, whatever, whatever. When it's not a baby, but yeah, hey, yeah. Like my mum, your mum helps me a lot, man. And my sister, like they will help me. Out. Like, I've got a strong family. family you get me, unit, like yeah. so that like, anything that needs to be done, it gets done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So bringing Donnell in. So mm-hmm. what was it? Um, that how did you manage to discover Courtney, and what made you want to take him on as your? And you charge? you turned him over as well. Did you turn yeah, him? Yeah. 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 So Explain that to us. Well, I'd heard about Courtney through the amateur scene and um, I was just looking at different fighters and 
and just browsing around the internet, basically, just looking at fighters. And I think I even on Spider, I was like, oh, have you heard of a fighter called Cordy? I just like the look of him. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. not like the way he shaped up, the way he boxed. I watched some of his fights. I saw like he's got like star potential about him. Mm -hmm. He's got like a bit of a look about him that he could be a star. And I asked Spider, I was like, who's this Courtney Bennett? Is he a good fighter? And he was like, yeah, he's a good fighter. I'm like, all right, cool. And he's actually the only fighter I've ever actually approached and said, oh, would, would you want to, would you want to train with me? Mm. Everyone else is, because I don't really put myself out there. Like, approached you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone else has approached me. And I remember messaging him and he was like, he was, he was receptive. He said, yeah, he'll come down and do some work. I think he did some pads, didn't it? Down, uh, yeah, I remember. Do you know what? He messaged me for like lockdown, yeah? Okay. Yeah. So it's lockdown and obviously when the first lockdown first happened, I was on the GB squad at the time. Like we had to do a few like training sessions through Zoom and that obviously I had a bag in my back garden yeah. and whatever. So he was doing it through Zoom. But I wasn't as fit and then obviously he messaged me. I looked at his profile. I was thinking, oh, he's just like, bro, like down at the match room, gym and shit, yeah, like yeah, fucking yeah. hell. <laughs> like, and he messaged me like, oh, like, do you want to come down? I said, um, like the first time he messaged me, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to come down. They messaged me, oh, what about this day? I was like, oh, no, I can't do that day. I said, like, next week, innit? Mm. And then uh, he messaged me again. I was thinking, fuck, I'm not even like that fit. I'm like, mm -hmm. do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm thinking, I'm just going to go and embarrass myself. Mm. And yeah, I messaged him, I said, hey, you know what, bro? I'm not even that fit at the moment. He's like, no, let's calm, man. Just calm down, like, proper, like, wall kibbing. You get me? So I was like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Went down and done some pads and that, man. It was good. Yeah, the first time down, it was good still. Yeah. So, so you're trying to put it off because you you didn't want to catfish you. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 exactly, 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 exactly. Come down thinking, hey, well, like this ain't the same guy. What are you talking about? Man, speeding up his yeah. videos. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, it was, it was funny because um, yeah, now as he's saying it, he's starting to come back to me about like he was. He was. It was a bit difficult first to get in there. I was. I was pursuing. I was like, bro, come down, come down. Like, and then he finally came down. It was. It was it was good, man. Was good. Was, I would yeah. say relationship was yeah. between you two. Obviously, I could, we, as you can see, as we can see, it kind of shows that you gel. But yeah. how how did it first start off? Because some people they were like, oh, "Fuck that train, I'm not yeah. with him, man." Do you know what me? Well, yeah, as, as a me as a, like I look at people as a person more than. Mm. Do you get me? Like when I met my man, like I don't know where it was. Like I felt like I known him for years already. Yeah. Like, obviously, like the first two weeks, I felt like I know my man for years, mm. and like. Bro, you yeah, might know each other. You guys look related, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Hey. But yeah, no, hey, but yeah, it was like, it was mad because I don't really, like, don't really trust people. people like, do you know, yeah. that, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, but then with my man, like, trusting him, like, everything mm. he was saying, I was listening to. So yeah, I think we've got a good relationship still. Like, like, I look at him as an older brother, do you know what I'm trying mm. to say? that. Like, He's not that much older than me. me so like look at him as like an older brother and like respect what he says. Like when he says certain things, mm. like he might like he might say certain things that might piss me off, but I'm just like, fuck it. Like, yeah. you know, if your older brother's gonna say something to you, you listen to what he's gonna say, do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah man. And it's always for your benefit with love because hundred percent. It's the same thing what happens uh sometimes with me and Craig, where I'll say things. And I can see sometimes getting frustrated with what I'm saying. Mm. Like, yeah, well, like, why are you always critiquing? But mm. it's like, I'm doing, because I, I don't want to see you get hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. you get hit. I'm, it feels like I'm getting hit. Some mm. people say, oh, but, you know, you're not in there. But listen, you can feel some of them shots, mm. man. It's not mm. nice to see. Mm. Like, you know, like when people, say, when mothers, mothers don't, they hate watching their sons because they can feel there's some kind of connection. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, so I understand why trainers will be hard on when they really care for a fighter. Mm. Trainers who don't care, they're just there to collect their percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got like 20 fighters, so it's just on to the next one. Then, yeah, they won't really say it. But, yeah, it's, it's when he's saying it, it's it's for good reason. And yeah. it's good that you you understand it. Yeah, yeah, that, no, man. definitely, man, definitely. So, obviously, you guys have uh, met up now. So, how was the first couple training sessions? No, actually, how was the first camp? Um, Do you know what? It was... When I was up at... G I remember, I was... When I first started training with Don, I was still out in GB. Mm. So, like, there's certain times I do Monday to Thursday, I put GB, come down, and I'll go to Don on a Friday. So, we only got like one one day to mm. kind of train with each other. It wasn't really enough, you get me? Mm -hmm. Then, there's certain times when I had time off at GB, I'll go down there all the time, whatever, whatever, it was good. But then, like, the more me and him would train together, it's, it's better that like, we'll train that like, if we travel a week straight. Mm. 
that he will teach me something like, yeah, this is good. And I'll go up at GB and I'll Implement back to it. my amateur kind okay. of thing. Do you oh, get what okay. I'm trying to say? So, so okay. like, even though he's a pro coach, he's still trying to teach me certain stuff that's like kind of amateurish. Like yeah. he wouldn't be like, oh yeah, you got to do like this, you got to do like that. Yeah. Like he's like, listen, do that, you're on GB, do your thing then. Yeah. Do you get me? And then, but yeah, when I turned over, and um, yeah, our, fir- our first camp together, it, it was good to be fair. I would say, like, certain things I could have done better, mm. but it, it it was good. Like, I would say the last camp that I had, I feel probably the best camp that I that I've, I wanted that camp to be my debut camp. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. My debut would have been probably a bit different, but yeah, um, I would say the last the camps have been good though, man. Like, learn all the times that like, there's never a, like you see certain coaches that were like, oh. They're doing mad combinations, whatever, whatever. Mm. But then the fight might be doing something wrong. If I do something wrong, he's telling me about it straight. Yo, you need to do it like this. Rare, 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 rare. I'm like, cool, sparring, same thing. Mm. I want you to work on this. Rare, rare. Whether I do it and I get it wrong 20 times, as long as I do it once within the spar, he's happy. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm So, saying. yeah, yeah. It's been, it's, been like, it's been like that with us, though. I mean, the first camp, you're just figuring it out. You know mm. what I'm saying? But although we worked with each other throughout when he was at GB, it was a sporadic training. It was like non-consistent. Mm. And as a coach, you want consistency with your fighter. You want, I need you here five days a week. Mm. Because what I taught you yesterday, you're now <laughs> taking a three hour trip up to Chefield, mm. you're tired and everything is, is yeah. you're not going to remember, remember it. So yeah. I've seen like, now we, we're there every day together. It's just like, we learn this, we might make a mistake here and then we figure it out. And it's just like, the growth has been so rapid since we started Took two camps we've done back to back. Like growth's been immense. Like he's, I've seen him develop as a fighter, and, and my understanding, my knowledge of him as a fighter, and understanding of how his brain works and how he thinks, and we've just gelled and we've grown. So we're grateful for the time, and um, I believe now because we're quite self-reflective. Me and Courtney, we will just every camp will just keep better and better because mm-hmm. we'll look at every camp and be like, ah, uh, you know, we could do this next time. Uh, we could do that next time. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. So, so how would you say, um, you kind of touched on it, but yeah, what was the main things you'd say you noticed from the first fight uh, camp to the first, because you had three pro fights now, right? Two. Two. So to, yeah, from the first to the second one. Um, I think it was just the the experience of, of maybe the different st- styles, basically. You know, we was, was getting into, to, with Courtney to, to come out of that, Bounce, amateur bounce, and it was more like a settle down and take his time, pick his opponent apart, and it was just a transition, and he's transitioned pretty well, you know. And I think he's he's also working on a few technical things, and he's now showing his personality through his boxing. And I feel like at GB, you're mm, yeah, you're, you're, a bit. yeah, you're you're you're, you're, you're 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 boxing a particular way, which the GB all the coaches would want you to. But now he's, I told him, it's the Courtney Bennett show. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's his show and he's really coming into his own and we're seeing who Courtney is now. And I, right now, I, that's the most, that's the difference between, for me, in, in in the main difference in this camp to the last camp is just that he's, his personality is starting to show more. Yeah. Know? And that's what uh, I'd say for that. Yeah. yeah. Would you would you say the same or? Yeah, else? yeah, 100%. Like, um, just my first fight, like, first pro fight is like, when you watch boxing on TV, like you see guys have their debut, you always hear like coaches, I mean, not coaches, commentators, like, oh yeah, still a bit amateurish. Mm, Do you know what I mean? Mm. So like, I didn't want to, I was like, you know what, fuck that, I'm going, yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, I tried, I tried to be as relaxed as I can, yeah, mm. but I was, I think I was thinking I was too relaxed, like kind of to get like a spa more than a, than a fight, do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. So this, like this second fight, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go out there and I'm like trying to take my man out, do you get it? So it was a different different mindset, like mm. working on things in the gym, like there's certain things I was working on, doing in the fight I was working, I was like, yeah, yeah. And like a big, I'll say, a big thing that I started training with a strength conditioning coach, mm. that properly, do you get me? So he works with Dan Aziz, works with Denzel Bentley. What's his name? Yusuf. Okay. Yeah, proper good strength. UCL? UCL? Yeah, that's right, that's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Like, proper, proper good. Like, he got me... Probably in the best shape I've pro- ever been in mm. as a as a as a fighter. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Not even as a pro as a fighter in in, in general. Yeah, like when yeah. you're up at GB, you're fit. That like, you're that's what GB's known for being fit, strong. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But he got me in some good shape, and I, I was happy with it. Still, yeah. yeah and 
obviously for me it was it was a different style because usually I'm more hands on with the boys conditioning, mm-hmm. obviously coming from that sort of you know bathroom T- style. Tony, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was used and to that, but you know, as you get on, you you mold things to to yourself mm-hmm. and different fighters. And I realized with him, the benefit of having a strength and conditioning do what they're supposed to do, mm-hmm. strength and conditioning. Mm-hmm. You know, my job is his boxing coach, mm-hmm. yeah. so. I've just we just had the opportunity to work on pure boxing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, and we, every time he came in, it wasn't about like, let's go for sprints. Let's go. Nah, my time was focused mm. on working on the craft, didn't it? And that's where it was. I believe the improvement. Came. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, that's good. So we're going into um, the fight week of AJ versus Franklin. Uh, your, see, your division, so yep, your heavyweight mm. division. I see that you've been sparring Jermaine Franklin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so how, how did that go, man? He's good, good, you know, he's a good, good, good fighter. Too much. Yeah, I ain't trying to say too no. much, but yeah, he's a, he's a um, good fighter, man. That like, um, proper, proper good fight. It was good that ho- hospitality there was good. That like, he's a proper nice guy, down to earth person. Mm. His, his team, they're good. You get what I'm trying to say, but yeah. Would, would you say um, his fight with AJ, with you being in the ring with him, is going to be competitive, or do you think he's? He's people are saying he shouldn't have this fight. You've sparred him. Do you think he's levels? Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, like um, he, he's a, like I can see why he gave Dylan White problems. You get what I mean? Like because mm-hmm. him and Dylan White was a good fight. Do you get me? Mm. So I can see why he gave Dylan White problems. Um, but yeah, I, 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 he deserves to be in there. Like yeah, yeah, that sparring me deserves yeah, to be in there. That's, yeah, that's all I care about. Because people like say, oh, he shouldn't be in there. I don't care about win, lose, or draw. But. I'm happy when our brother get a payday. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. Like, no, facts, facts. And um, and I was happy he 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 um handled himself well against Dylan. Some people say mm. he won the fight. Mm. You know, I'm gonna say so. I was happy. Um, even though he didn't get the victory, he, he got another payday. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, he's got another opportunity to on a, on yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and stuff. So um, yeah. So what's your your twenty seven now? So what's your three year goal? going forward in, in boxing? Do you know what, yeah? I'll be honest, I, I, I never look so far forward. Do you get it? Like, I look at this year, like this year I want to have four fights. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? I want to have four, I, I've had one this year, I want to have another three fights. I yeah. never look about, well, obviously everyone's, you know, we want to be a world champion, you yeah. want to collect the belts and all of that stuff. Like, yeah. and, what but was? I never, I never look too far. I want to improve, I want to have a fight. Next, and then I just want to improve on my last performance. Do you get what I'm saying? Go so I wouldn't say I've got a three year goal. What or, about do you know a short what I'm term goal? Then? Yeah, yeah. My short term goal is for this year. I just want to get as I want to have I want to have my four fights. I want each one to be better than the last one was. Do you okay. get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like I've had two fights now. Haven't had a knockout. I want to get a knockout my next fight. Like I'm not going. I don't go there looking for the knockout. If it comes, it comes. If it comes, it comes. Yeah, man. So yeah. I'd say I would say that's my short term goal. I think is especially in boxing is we always look at like a journey that we imagine mm. would work. We sit there and think as some as men we do that, we plan our journeys, we think like this, this, this I love this, this. But life never often works. never goes that way, does yeah, it? It never goes just to plan. goes its own way. Yeah. And then we only see life at the end of the road. So yeah, yeah. you know, and that's that's where we, we, we have I mean I've I had my own vision, but as I've been on the journey with him, I've kind of realised you know, we need to go at our pace, you know, mm. whatever. we just focus on the next step, just be best for the next step. And yeah. that's what we've been focusing on. And as we've been doing that, we've seen the improvement, the growth, and I believe wherever, wherever it goes, you know, I believe the end result will be beautiful. Yeah, because yeah. um, to be fair, you'd be one of the best people to even give Courtney advice because you, you've always haven't had it say, smooth sailing in the boxing game as well. Yeah, so man. I guess the way you've wanted it to go, mm-hmm. like you're saying, yeah, it didn't it didn't go straight like that. Yeah. But mm-hmm. we're here now, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. You know, like, that I, you know, life life goes like that, and I feel like if I didn't go through that, I wouldn't be able to sit down and have that conversation with Courtney. Yeah, you know, and to to let him keep his mind at ease to know mm-hmm. that, you know. It could be this way, it could be that, but everyone's journey is different. You know, yeah, understand? exactly. So whoever, whoever, everyone gets to the top. I mean, even like coaching, mm-hmm. everyone wants that Ben Davison, that Angel Fernandez route to the top in coaching. You know what I'm saying? Where they've had a, 
Quite. They might not have been in the game for yeah, as long, long, but they've but gone straight there. Yeah. But yeah. Shane, I love it. Shane like McGuigan. Yeah, yeah, Shane. Well, you know, Shane McGuigan's a bit different. Shane's a bit different. He's. Mm. I feel like Shane's put in because like, like Ben Davidson, they just got. They've been. They've been in, but they. You got to remember, they just got brought in by Tyson. Yeah. yeah Davidson, yeah, yeah. Fernandez yeah. by Joshua. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then now. They've yeah. got a full stage. Well, he's actually, yeah, to be fair, Shane used to box as well. Yeah. I mean, meaning yeah. boxer, the future, yeah. even sparred. So, yeah. Shane, and, and obviously his dad used to box. So, he, he's been around. You've got to remember, Shane was, he was grafting hard. I think one time he only had Frampton. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, so, he, on, yeah. Uh, so, he, to be honest. Cyclone. Just, yeah, Cyclone. But I know that was probably politics or whatever, but he only had one fight. But now he's got like a few fighters, deserves it kind of. Not saying Ben Davison or... Fernandez don't deserve it, but it just shows you the different paths trainers yeah, go through in the game. Of course. Yeah. And it's even for me, I spent years behind Peter and then years mm-hmm. behind Tony uh, working on not really having my own fighters and then... Mm. Just learning to trade. Learning to trade. Mm. But to be to be honest, I'm so grateful to, to have Courtney and, and Adan and who I have signed that as, as my mm-hmm. first starters. Mm-hmm. That's mm. a good start. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you got your own gym as well, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're exactly. doing big it's things, man. Talk start. your thing, man. Talk it yeah, up, man. Like, I'm not this shit. You know what I'm saying? Talk <laughs> it up, man. <laughs> but yeah, so it's, 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 obviously you love it. You love it to go a certain way, but you know, this way, how it's going right now, I just give God thanks and we just keep working. That's yeah, it. man. That's... I mean, every day is an opportunity and we make the most of the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, love that, love that. So um 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 so who's um what's the a promotional situation of Courtney and management situation? Is that are you the manager as well? Yeah, currently um I'm managing Courtney and working alongside another management company. Right, and, then, and we're just right now we're just focusing more we're on just focusing on, on his growth and development. Okay, before we've, we've had a few talks offers, and, yeah. Yeah, but we're taking it step Slow. by step, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, when it's time, it will be time. time yeah. You know what I'm saying? And there's no rush for it. It's just yeah, that's yeah, that's one thing um a lot of these fighters now it's all of they're chasing the money more than the accolades and mm. and I say, you know, just keep yourself grounded. Yeah, yeah definitely. And um you look, cha- at, you look at Dan Aziz and his path and yeah, exactly. you know, everybody would love to have started on the T V but Dan did it his way. Now yeah. Dan's yeah. flying. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Everyone got to rate Dan's team. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, yeah, percent big time, like he's he started it that way. So started it, off in selling tickets. Mm. Then yeah. from tickets, he's gone to Lee Eaton. Yeah. Then from Lee Eaton, he floated a few matchroom shows. Mm. And then now you've got... A few MTKs. MTKs. Yeah, that's Lee Eaton I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then um, he floated around a few matchroom shows, yeah. got the upsets, and now he's uh, he got his deal with Boxer, European champion, Commonwealth, British. British. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's put his name... In the mix now, hundred mm, percent, and he's he done it the hard way. So yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. kudos to no, um, big inspiration, Dan Aziz, man. Yeah, and he's, he used he's, to come he's, down. From, he's from the area as well. Yeah, bro. Yeah, from from Lewis and Borough. Mm. Uh, when he he's come down double jab sometimes when I was there as well. That like, first time I met him through double jab. Yeah, uh, bro. I see Dan now European champion, mm. British champion, Commonwealth champion. Still like the same guy yeah, when I first, first met him. Man, yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like hum, most humblest guy ever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you, you, I saw you did a stint down at Churchill's for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was down to North, North. It's just North West. No, Lambeth. Oh, Lambeth. Okay, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. 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 I, I was um, Lambeth North. When did I? Near there. Yeah. After my, I think I left Double Jam in 2018. Was 2017-18, and then I went down to Churchill's. Like, um, I know Ellie Scotney for the scene, and I was chatting to. Her, I was like, oh, that. Like, How's that? How's the gym? Like, she's like, I'll come down and have a training session. Yeah. Uh, she spoke to Sam, went down there, got along with him, went well, and I was down there. Who's that? Ellie Scott? We're trying to be getting on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ellie Scott, Ellie, Ellie from Tell her to stop airing, 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 airing our Instagram. Uh, <laughs> we, need, we need some women on the show. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ellie. La- Lady Benavides. <laughs> she looks like David Benavides a bit, you know. So. Yeah, <laughs> but, you're, trying to, you're trying to get us on the show? No, she's going to. She's not, cut as a joke. She's not going to lie to <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, yeah, Ellie, known her for a long time from the Lynn. And Sam, when Sam Mullins used to yeah, be Yeah, 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 yeah. Then he started his own club. Mm. Uh, oh, was he at Churchill's, Mullins, Sam? No, Sam's the owner of Churchill's now. He oh. used to be at the Lynn. No, when, oh, okay. Oh, that's Obed the old Chris, he started. Okay, yeah, because he well, he started off at Fisher. Mm. Then he bought Chris Congo, Obed, um, Ted. No, well, he left Ted Cheeseman at Fisher, and then yeah, then he was at Lynn for a bit, and then he went. He started. His he's own training club. Siobhan now, Clark, right? Yeah, yeah Siobhan yeah. Clark and Prince Patel. 
<laughs> he's training for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. We need to get that guy on the show. He's yeah, funny. Yeah. <laughs> so then, so yeah, so you was down there for a bit and then... Yeah, I was down there for a bit. Um, obviously, from GB, I was on G, I, I got on GB, like obviously training with Sam or whatever. Had my fights for England and going to England training camps. Then I got on GB. I was going back and forth, going back and forth. But then when I come back down, it was like, I went to go see Don sometimes and then, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I hardly had time yeah, for yeah. to get down to the gym, do you know what I mean? So, like, me and Sam, I, I see Sam on my last fight, like, he's son boxed on the same show. Me and Sam, Sam's a proper nice guy, mm. proper, like, good guy. So, nothing, no bad, nothing. I just, um, we just parted ways and then, yeah. when I was on GB, there was like, oh, you need to sign with an amateur club because I wasn't signed with no amateur well, club, okay. you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. So then, um, uh, one of my, um, one of my guys, Raf, um, he trains down at Royal Resistance, like does a bit of, um, it's in Woolli- um, it was in Woolwich, now it's in Kidbrook, not far from me, probably about 15 minutes if that. Okay. So um, yeah, I just signed up there like, as an amateur club. Great hospital, they always said, I can go down there, use all the mm-hmm. things that, mm-hmm. use all the equipment facilities and yeah, yourself, facilities yeah. and whatever. So yeah, so I was, I ended up when I, before I turned pro, I was signed under Royal Resistance as a, um, Amateur, mm-hmm. but like, I never boxed for them or nothing because obviously I was up at GB nine times out of ten. So, yeah, yeah just so you was on the electoral roll. Yeah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but that's good to see. So, have you done a bit of training with um, your cousin Starter? Nah, nah, never. You know, never. Nah, obviously, he obviously he's, he he's been doing his his thing with the amateurs, but I've never like he's always like said to me, "I oh, like come down there." But obviously, more time I'm with like training with Donnell and then. Like, I'll do my SNC, so by the time all of that's yeah. done, I'm shattered, you get me? Do you feel yeah. like um a lot of your mates, um because obviously when I talk to boxers, obviously like you said, some mm. you were training tired, right? your, your mates will link up with you. Are some thinking, oh, I switched up on me, you're scared on it. No, do you know like, what? Do you know my, all my projects? Yeah, you like, understand them? Yeah, or? man. Like, mm. like, I ain't got, I haven't had like, one brother say, oh, you don't nick me or yeah. like, not one of the, everyone yeah, knows what I'm yeah, doing, do you yeah, get me? And like, my brothers, they're working at themselves, do you get me? So, mm. them are not doing their nine to five and doing what they're doing. Yeah, they know this is my nine to five, do you get me? Like, that's good, man. Yeah, man, they, they, good. they're good, yeah, they're my, all my people's are good, man, trust me. Yeah, that's good. And that's when, good. We, when we can link up, we link up, we it's link like, up, yeah. and there's no like, yeah, oh yeah, man. I haven't seen you in a minute, I haven't seen you yeah, in a minute, but I still love. friends that, don't call you for business. Don't call you for nothing. And they were like, oh, I haven't seen you in ages. For what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there, there, There's phones. That sounds personal. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not personal. I hear this all the time. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, fire. yeah big fire is people. My brain just can't do that to me, mm. but <laughs> I'll yeah. give them the real. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that, I hear that. So, any, um, so with your sponsors, you want to give any of them a shout, shout out? Yeah, um, for you. Yeah, yeah, we're doing oh, that. Okay, we've got five minutes going on. Um, yeah, my sponsors, Bishop Scaffolding um, and Ford, you. Yeah, they stay, listen, they do, they go above and beyond, uh, above and beyond for me, do you know mm. what I mean? So I can't, can't fool them at all. Yeah. Was that yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. When, Bro, when we have the white man here, them men are talking for long. They're like scaffolding this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ba- uh, some, some builders this, bricklayers yeah, yeah. this, fishmongers <laughs> this, uh, electrician <laughs> this. It's mad, but yeah, yeah man. Let's stop helping out more of the brothers, man. Bro, this is something I've noticed as well for mm. coaching different fighters as mm. well. It's like cultures. Like and within the black culture, you generally find most black fighters don't have much sponsors. Mm. And I look at a lot of my counterpart coaches who are white coaches, and their gyms are full of posters and yeah. all their mates are going. Yeah. I'm trying to approach so like most of the my bridges that are doing business, like yeah, it's, you know it's, it is. I yeah. just think we, I I just wish people do their um what's the word, educate themselves more on what sp- like sponsorship means because. You know, like they just think it's coming out of their pockets and stuff, but there's ways to get around mm. this kind of stuff and yeah. it kind of helps their business more mm, if yeah, they know yeah. what's yeah, what exactly. in it. Yeah. But it's not just um, European fighters. I'd say Asian fighters as well, they get a lot of support. Yeah. And, uh, sponsors. Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd say they get a lot of support. I don't know about sponsors though. No, they Depending if you're talking about Azim, Azim, mm-hmm. then that's a that's kind of different. But if you're talking, I would, what, what other Asian fighter would you say get mad sponsorship? Hamza Shiraz. Who? Hamza Shiraz. Oh, Hamza. 
Oh, yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Amir Khan, well, obviously, he had the Olympics. Nah, H- so Hamza, that. that's true. Yeah, no, nah, they get a lot because there's a lot of businesses business. within the, yeah, the Asian community. community. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So there needs to be more business no, in the black community. There is, yeah, there is, but they just don't know what's what. You but know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, there's more to businesses than a patty shop and a hibabas. So we need. <laughs> All right, chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out. We're coming into an age now black and we're. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some of us are second generation. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. Exactly. So we'll, get we'll get there. We'll get there, man. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, bro. You I'm know, third generation, but yeah. yeah so, oh, all right. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're getting there. I'm, well, that's f- good. I'm, I'm first, isn't it? So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. So um, yeah, we're going to move on to the penultimate round. So you sure. must have seen it before. He's going to ask you a series of questions. Um, you just pick one. Just pick one or. You're yeah. gonna say this or this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, be wary, Mac. You know, stitch, stitch you up, but so. Red corner or blue corner? Red corner. Left hook or straight right? Straight right. Everlast or fly? Everlast. Cleto Rays or Grants? Grants. Rival or winning? Rival. For boots, Nike or Adidas? Adidas. Everlast or Lonsdale? For boots? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everlast. Man ain't using no Lonsdale gloves, come on. <laughs> um, My son watches this, he boxes in that. What, in Everlast gloves? Lonsdale. Lonsdale gloves. Oh, if he's a boot, so. He did say boots. Did yeah, say boots. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying no one uses Lonsdale gloves. Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying boots. Like, so. You can get Lonsdale gloves. You can, but the shape's <laughs> mad, though. The shape's <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, York Hall or O2 Arena? York Hall. I've only boxed in York Hall, so I say York Hall. Yeah, York Hall's yeah. good, but when that place is ram, yeah. Sweat box. Yeah. Yeah. Just leave the jacket at home. Summer. Two pack or biggie? Biggie. Yeah. Nas or Jay Z? Jay Z. Yeah. Ali or Tyson? Ali. Jack Johnson or Joe Lewis? Joe Lewis. Ray Robinson or Ray Leonard? Ray Robinson. Michael Buffer or Jimmy Lennon Jr.? Michael Buffer. Mm. Big Mo or David Diamante? David Diamante. Yeah. Mills Lane or Steve Willis? Referees. Referees. He knows. Say that again. Mills Lane or Steve Willis? Steve Willis. Spence or Crawford? Crawford for me. It's funny how somebody had to say for me. Everyone always says that when they talk about that fight because yeah, yeah. he's a mad to pick yeah, in it. Viterbiev yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or Bivol? Oh. Uh Jamal Charlo or Tim Chu- Tzu? Charlo. Devin Haney or Lomachenko? That's coming mm. up. Good fight. Yeah, good. Oof. Um, mad fight, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is where Haney's going to go into his Floyd Mervis ish mm, yeah. uh, transition. Yeah, I would say, I would say, I would say Haney, you know. Um, since my boy broke up plant last night, so Canelo versus Benavides. Canelo. Joe Joyce or Willie Zhang? Joyce. <laughs> Akoli or Richard Riakpour? <sighs> <laughs> you can plead the fifth. Uh, you, can one, plead, yeah. you can plead the fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Fury yeah, yeah. or Usyk? I say Fury, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah. BMW or Mercedes? Oh, my dad ain't gonna like this one, but I'll put it in Mercedes still. <laughs> uh, Audi oh, or Lexus? <laughs> Audi. Rolls Royce or Bentley? I'll, me personally, I'll say Bentley. Mm. I'll say Rolls Royce. Yeah. I'm a bit, I, I don't know. I like the Bentley though. Yeah. Yeah. Be a Bentley, man. Like the Bentley, the Bentley truck. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <I> like. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dark skin or light skin? What? It, Girls. It, it, it. <laughs> I'm pleading the fifth. I <laughs> <laughs> 
I ain't got, I ain't got no. Yeah, like, nah, like, nah, nah, nah. Video yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I said, I said, red skin. I was in the middle. Slimline or curvy thick? Ah, each of their own, in it. Yeah, what's your own? Me personally, curvy thick, innit? Yeah, oh, that's, that's what cool. I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Natural or surgery? Natural. Garage or house music? House music. Drum and bass or jungle? Drum and bass. R&B or slow jams? So it, and it, says, it depends what mood I'm in. Mm. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> it depends what kind of mood I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Dance or Afro beats? That's a hard one, you know. It's mm. a hard one. See, I like that. No, no, because you know, because yeah. people say, "Oh, because I'm Caribbean, I'm gonna go dance," yeah. but there's some banging yeah, yeah, Afrobeat yeah, 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 out there. But yeah, I'd say um, dance or still. Mm-hmm. What about you, Dodo? Uh, I'm Jamaican, so it's gonna be dance or. But okay. I like, I got more Afrobeat than my on the Spotify. <laughs> so we're moving tree on. <laughs> Seen as you're um, Jamaican and Bayesian. Uh, dance hall or Calypso? Um, I'll go dance hall, you know. I listen to more dance hall, but like when I'm at certain family functions, Calypso plays and do you get what I mean? Oh, yeah, There's carnival something. and all that. Do you know, I don't even go carnival. I've been carnival once in my life, you know. Oh, and right. as a as a youth, that like, I've never been as an adult. Yeah, nah, man. It's too crowded. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Nah, Even know. when I go, I'm, I, if I do go, I think I've been carnival like four times in my life. I, like last hour, mm. parking on the outskirts. Yeah, yeah. I, I've yeah. never, I've never been as a like just I when I can go and do yeah, what yeah. I want to do by myself. I've never been. Like, all my brothers that will go or chill at yard, man. I just do my own thing. All right, so. Cuckoo and flying fish or red snapper and hard food? I say red snapper and hard food, but I don't I don't really eat fish like that, you know. Mm. Uh fish cakes or saltfish fritters. <laughs> yeah, it's saying don't eat them ones. No. Yeah, you got, you got, <laughs> I, I don't you got oxtail or you want some meat meat options. Uh, Aki and saltfish or rice and saltfish. Got the bare fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, because this is this is yeah. the Jamaican Bajan. <laughs> I don't know what meats you might what you eat. You, I, what, I'm going to say what? Ox tail or monkey brains? Yeah, yeah, like. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just eat monkey and uh, what's it? St. Kitts. Oh, but, yeah. yeah, I know you're not going to do that. Uh, da, 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 da. Jug jug or rum cake? These are desserts. I'll, I'll go rum cake, you know. What, what's jug jug? Jug jug? What's that? It's like a, it's a Bayesian dessert, but there's a no, there's another Bayesian dessert, yeah, called black bitch. Have you heard of that one? No. no yeah. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, I, I don't really eat that much Bayesian, Bayesian food, you know? Mm. Oh, don't like, you? no, I'd obviously that like, my mum and my nan cook more time. Obviously that like, my nan was with my grandma, my grandma was that like, yard man, like mm. always on his side, had his yard food and he gave me so I'm always around Jim or my Jamaican eating my Jamaican exactly. food and things like that still. Okay. All right. So do 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 Hold on. Vo- Evion or Volvic? Every on me personally. Yeah, same. Voss or Fiji? Fiji. Uh Lucasade Sport or Well Hydrate? So Ooh, I'll say Well Hydrate, you know. Same with Bill. your uh, morning. I was gonna say Lucasade too, but Well Hydrate pay that check. <laughs> 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 so for you now, Donnell. This is for attributes in a fight you would rather prefer. Speed or power? Power. Boxer or a fighter? Fighter. Footwork or hand placement? Footwork. For um, equipment, normal mitt pads, paddles or the sticks? Uh, I'm a pad man, so it's just normal mitt pads. Uh, body belt or the circle drum pad? Body belt, I wear it all the time. Do you prefer Orthodox or South Pole fighters? South Pole, because it's, it's just kind of exciting. It's new, yeah. You know what I mean? Like There's not too many South Poles. It keeps you on your toes more because, you know, you're always boxing with Orthodoxes, but yeah. South Pole make you think a bit more because it's like, I even go South Pole when I'm doing pads with them. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's different. And oh, last oh. one for both of you, town or countryside life? Done with town life. Ready to go country. 
<laughs> you know, I would say I would say country them. I'm just, I'm more of like a chilled guy. Do you know what I mean? I don't. Mm. Yeah, I think the, you, you, the partying and suit, that. Yeah, yeah, man, the, the partying. That's just, all that town life's not really for me still. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. And that concludes the penultimate round. So yeah, man, thank you for coming on. Yeah, no, thank you for having us on, man. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Donnell, for you. blessing us once again, man. Much okay, appreciated. Any last. No man, thanks for coming down, yeah, guys. Man, yeah, man. Man. appreciate it, man. I know. Cheers, well, thank you very much. Next time we see you, come out with a title, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good day, man. Good day. Yeah. And there you go, guys. It's another episode of the Neutral Corner. It's Danny Glover. It's Lex. And remember, persistence beats resistance. You know what it is.